they want us to simplify this to a single trigonometric function and it is six marks. So that's pretty decent. So what I'm gonna do is you wouldn't do this in an exam, but just because I'm trying to help you guys and teach you guys, I'm going to, I'm gonna show you how to do each part. Okay, so there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts. There are eight parts. So let me show you how to do each part. So sin x, we're not gonna do anything with that. So that's just gonna say sin x, that's this one. Then you get sin of 90 plus y. Ah, whenever there's a 90, what do we use? Co-functions. Remember the four that we learned in grade 11? Um, they go like this. Sorry, I don't know why I'm using X's and Y's. Let me just use X to be consistent, yeah? So they all become the opposite. So sin becomes cause, cause becomes sin. However, you must remember this one at the bottom. That's the only one that's a little bit weird because the sin becomes negative. Okay. And so sin of 90 plus y, that's this one here. So that's just going to become cause y. Okay. So I'm just going to leave that like that. So we've now done the second part. Cos x is just going to stay cos x. That's this part here. Sin of 180 plus y. Well, that would be based upon our cost diagram. We know that there is the, the C, A, S, and T. You get 180 minus, 180 plus, and 360 minus. So we know that the 180 plus is on the cost diagram. So that's a good thing. That's nice. So we know that the answer just becomes sin y, but don't panic. I know what you're thinking. Um, because sin is negative in this quadrant, we must put a negative in the front. So it'll become negative sin y. Okay. And so that part's now done. Cos x is just going to stay cos x, obviously. Now, cos y minus 360. Now, we need to have a little chat about this one because I know what a lot of you want to do. You think, oh, this is easy, Kevin. I can do this in my sleep. I'll just take out a negative as a common factor um, and then it will just look like, it will just look something like this. Guys, you cannot take out a negative or any common factor for sin, cos, and tan. They do, it, common factors don't work. Um, I mean, you can take out a common factor if it looks something like this. You could take out a common factor from those two. But what I mean is, if you have something like cos of uh, x minus 360, you can't just take out a negative and then say that this will become 360 minus x. Mathematically, it's not correct at all. So what do we do? What we do instead is we either minus... 360 degrees, or we add 360 degrees, okay? So, because mathematically, if you are here, for example, if you add 360 degrees, you're still gonna be at the same place. And so mathematically, you are not really changing anything. So if I have cos, of y minus 360, what I would do is I would add 360 to that. I'm going to add 360. So that's going to become, there we go. Oh, and that actually just becomes cos y. So that's nice. That's easy. Okay, perfect. Now, here's another one where some of you make a bit of a mistake. You say, um, yeah, easy stuff. I'll just take out a negative and then this just becomes negative sin x. It does become negative sin x, but for the wrong, for a different reason. What you are supposed to do instead is add 360 degrees. Okay. And now when you plus, the order doesn't really matter. So I can just write that as 360 minus x. And I know that 360 minus x is on my cost diagram. So I can just say that this becomes sin x, but sin is negative in that quadrant. So we put a little negative in the front. So some of you might be like, yeah, Kevin, I told you, you can just take out a negative. I've had that argument with so many of my students. Um, 
they're like, see, Kevin, it does work out. But guys, the teachers, they somehow, so, or sometimes they can spot the way you did it. And if you don't show your steps and if they can't see it, you might not get all the marks. So yeah, I'm not just trying to be difficult here. You've got to show how you did it. So, and then sin Y is obviously just going to be sin Y. Okay, so fantastic. What I wanted to do was just to show you how to put all of this or how to simplify each little part. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and put all of this together, okay? So I'm going to assume that you guys have written everything down because I need a little bit of, um, I need a bit of space. And so I'm just going to erase everything quickly. And hopefully I remember what the answers were. All right. Okay, so for the first part, we said that, um, let's quickly erase all of that. So we said that sin x just stays sin x. Um, sin of 90 plus just became cos. Then this was cos x. This one was negative sin y. Just remember there is a multiply in between there. That's important. And then that's going to be over cos x. This one just became cos y. This one became um, plus. And then this part became negative sin x and then sin y. So those are multiplied, those are multiplied. Fantastic. So what I like to do now is I would, um, I would want you just to look over here. So I want you to see that this negative and this negative are just going to become a positive. Okay, those will become a positive. And then you should have a look over here, um, there. That's just going to become a negative. All right, so if I had to go rewrite this now on the next step, it would go sin x cos y plus cos x sin y at the bottom, cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. Now, can you see it? Check this out. This is a compound angle. If you look on your formula sheet, I should have the formulas here, but I don't, I'm sorry. Um, it's a compound angle. So not a com yeah, compound angle. You know, on the formula sheet, there's four of them. The sin X plus Y, well, I mean, sin alpha plus beta, sin alpha minus beta, cos alpha plus beta, cos alpha minus beta. You would look through that in the test and you should identify that this one at the top can be rewritten as sin of X plus Y. Then the one at the bottom is the cos x, is the cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. And so what that one becomes is cos x plus y. Ah, and now check this out. We have sin divided by cos and the angle is the same. So we can change this into tan. This will just become tan of x plus y. That is the answer.